Hi everyone, it's Ben Kalathical from Jodana Gaming, and today we are going to be making another Java program. This time we're going to be checking whether or not a string is a palindrome. You can see below, I um, was working on it before, and this is now my sixth attempt recording it. I found out what the problem is, and I'll get to that when I get to the point of the program. So anyway, the last video I made, um, we were reversing strings, which was very simplistic to do, and anyway, I posted the video of that onto a forum site I go to quite frequently, um, and one of the users there told me that classes from the java.lang package are automatically imported. Um, I did not know this when I was um, researching the reverse string, uh, the one person they imported the java.lang.stringbuilder and I just assumed you had to. But anyway, you do not have to. Um, so yeah, uh, the only package that we need to import for this is the java.util scanner, which will allow us to handle user input. And we already have the public static void main. Uh, so now we just need to clear a few variables, string s, string reverse string, uh, and then we are going to create scanner in this new scanner system dot n. Then we're going to output a message system dot out dot print line. I always do the p r t i n instead of p r i n t. Um, please enter a, enter a string, and now we're going to s equals n dot next line which will then assign the user input to the s variable which we can then use for later next we need to reverse string is equal to new string uh, was it string builder yeah string builder um, and then dot reverse dot to string okay so now we have both the variables. We have a reversed version and we have the normal version. Uh, the pro uh, problem, sorry, I ran into last time. Was, well, anyway, this was the string I entered. This was the reverse string and this was the original string. I made sure that I was reversing it, but anyway, and this was the reverse string. Uh, what the problem was, was I was using a double equal sign, which is basically standard for most programming languages. However, upon looking it up, uh, I have to use dot equals. So I'm not actually sure if it will work, but I'm pretty sure it will. So write the if statement now. Um, so if s is dot equals reversed string, thank god that didn't give me an error. Anyway, because I recorded this like six times I start getting frustrated. But anyway, um, I put a message system dot out dot print line and um, s plus is a palindrome else system dot out dot print line s plus is not a palindrome. Why is that doing that to me? There we go. What is it doing now? I don't need that. Um there we go. I don't know what happened there, but anyway, so now we're going to run it, and hopefully it works, as I swear. So first we'll enter in a string that isn't a palindrome, okay, hopefully that's it'll work, and now we're going to type in level, and there, it works. So the problem last time uh, was that I was using, instead of this, I was using, so then when you run it, even if you enter in level, it would say it was not. So you've got to use dot equals. So if you're coming here from another programming language, you'll know that most programming languages they use equals equals, the double equals sign. Um, that's why. Um, anyway, the double equals sign. Uh, however, in Java, use dot equals. So that is it for this video. If you enjoy it, Leave a like. If you don't, leave a dislike. Simple as that. Thank you for watching.